So we're going to go ahead and start in tabletop. Remember the good alignment. Next, go ahead and kick your feet back to a nice plank. Right here, you can either drop your knees or not, but we're going to drop our knees for everyone else. Elbows in, chest comes down nice and slow. And untuck the feet. Place your hands up. So go ahead and spread your hands out. Make sure that your shoulders and elbows are aligned and you're nice and tall. Your feet are untucked and you're lifting forward into Sphinx pose. This is a really good opening of the spine, lifting of the chin, and really strengthening into those back muscles. Holding here, a few breaths in and out. One more. And then we're gently coming down, shifting your hands back underneath the shoulders into baby cobra as you lift up just gently. In baby cobra, you're pushing your legs into the ground, you're squeezing your quads, and you're not putting pressure into the fingertips. You're letting your back muscles do all the work, which is great for your posture, which lingers all the way up towards your neck. Holding it here, or you can come up a little bit higher, or if you wish to, you can shift your hands just a little bit more back, squeezing your elbows back, pressing in to your legs and then towards the top of your feet, pushing up into upward facing dog right here. If you have any lower back or especially your lower lumbar issues, make sure you don't come up too much, shoulders back or at all, right here. And then gently drop the knees round on down, placing your hands out, lifting up, deep inhale here, exhale down, shift your hands back, tuck your toes under, lift your hips back to downward facing dog, Really get a good stretch. After that back bend, it's always good to do a forward fold. Then we're gonna go and tuck the toes under if they're not already, lift the hips up into downward facing dog. So in downward facing dog, it just helps relieve any of that neck tension from a compressed spine. So just relax the neck, give it a little shake, no, no, no. And yes, yes, yes. If you feel like you're having a difficult time here, you can bend your knees and walk your feet a little bit forward. Make sure your back is nice and flat here. If you have the flexibility, go ahead and drop the heels down and lift the bottom up and pushing up and pulling those ears away, the shoulders away from the ears. Go ahead and shift your gaze up and walk your feet into a forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to, but try to release that neck. Feel free to cross your arms if you want, maybe rock side to side. Bend your knees again if you need to. If your legs are straight, make sure your weight is shifted more towards your toes so you don't hyperextend the back of your knees. Go ahead and take a deep inhale here. And exhale, release a little bit more. One more deep inhale. And exhale, release. Then bend your knees, send your weight into your hips and round up like a rag doll, your head being the last thing, nice and tall and finding that good tall posture.